our favorite orator is back at it again. Whenever this person speaks, I tune in because I know that I'm going to be entertained. Well, I think culture is, it, it is a reflection of our moment and our time, right? And, and, and present culture is the way we express how we're feeling about the moment. And, and we should always find times to express how we feel about the moment that is a reflection of joy because, you know, it comes in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the laughs that she got on that line. She's hilarious. Oh, wait, it was just her that laughs. I guess that's mathematically the most likely. <laughs> we have to find ways to also express the way we feel about the moment in terms of just having language and, and, and a connection to how people are experiencing life. And I think about it in that way too. That's our friend, Kamala. Let's all thank her for her Martin Luther King Jr. like oration. She is able to think on her feet so quickly and be able to come up with Macbeth like lines. Shakespeare of the modern day, she is. Let's all thank our lucky stars that this is what affirmative action has brought us. And let's even thank more greatly that the Supreme Court has struck down affirmative action in college so that we will never have anybody with as little merit as Kamala Harris, hopefully, in public office. <laughs>